Hello friends, isn't this amazing? The LED bulb lights up without any connection to it. This is not magic, but only science. This is wireless power transmission. Welcome to science for you. Today I am going to show you a very interesting science project based on wireless power transmission. The exact same technology is used for wireless charging of our mobile phones also. Watch till the end to see the testing of the circuit. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Thank you. For this project, we need an emerald copper wire, a 2N2222 transistor, an LED bulb, a 22 kilo ohm resistor, a 9 volt battery, and a switch. Now let us learn how to make it. First we will make the receiver coil which is very simple. Take any cylinder like a glass and start winding the copper wire on it. Wind the total of 30 turns to make the receiver coil. The coil that I made is 50 millimeters in diameter. Now take out the coil. Wind a tape at three locations so that the coil doesn't become loose. Now we will make the transmitter coil. For this first we have to wind 15 turns of the coil as shown. After 15 turns we have to make a loop in the coil. Then again continue to wind in the same direction and make another 15 turns. This makes a total of 30 turns in the transmitter coil also, but with a loop at the middle. Remove the coil from the glass and stick tape at three locations so that the coil doesn't come loose. Both the transmitter and receiver coils are now ready. Now let us make the circuit for wireless transmission. Remove the insulation from the tips of wire using an emery paper. Take a cardboard paper and fix the coil, battery and switch as shown. Connect the battery connector. Solder the positive red wire from the battery to the looped wire at the center of the transmitter coil. Connect the negative black wire from the battery to one terminal of the switch as shown. Now take the 2N2222 transistor and solder the collector pin to one end of the coil. Now, take the 22 kilo ohm resistor and solder one end to the base pin of the transistor. The other end of the resistor has to be soldered to the other end of the coil. Now, take a strip of wire and connect the emitter pin of the transistor and other terminal of the switch. The transmitter circuit is ready. Now we will make the receiver circuit. This is very easy. We just have to take an LED bulb and solder both the terminals of the bulb to the two terminals of the receiver coil. The project is now completed. Let us now do the testing. The bulb in the receiver coil lights up when brought near the transmitter coil due to wireless power transmission. You can see that there is no separate power given to the receiver coil.
but the bulb lights up when the coil is brought near the transmitter coil. The transmitter coil creates short pulses of current. This creates a magnetic field in the transmitter coil. So when the receiver coil is brought near it, an EMF is induced in the coil due to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This lights up the LED bulb. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting experiment and DIY projects in future. Thank you.